Goku, the victor of many great battles. Was out with his son, Gohan. To see his comrades nice again. You, Gohan. I'm Boma. <laughs> Suddenly, a creature from outer space appears to announce an astounding fact. Ah, just the person I'm looking for. My name is Raditz. I've come to destroy this planet and you're going to help me. After all, that's what we do, brother. We are Saiyan. Goku was brought to his knees by the almighty power of the alien and Gohan was carried away a prisoner. Mysterious alien attack. Well, what an unexpected surprise. I just stopped by to enjoy the view. Why are you idiots here? You know why. Give me back my son right now. <laughs> and what if I don't feel like it, huh? What are a couple of uni runs like you going to do about it? You might be stronger than I am, but that doesn't matter. There's no way that I'll back down. Hmm. You fools just don't get it, do you? I'll let you win on a secret. This planet's history. Even if you beat me, there are two more powerful Saiyans on their way. That's just great. Then I'll deal with you first. I have to save Gohan. Enough! I'm nothing like you, Raditz. You're not my brother. Please, let me go. Do I promise you I'll leave this planet right now? No, you can't listen to him, Goku. He's only telling lies. Please, brother. I beg of you. Goku, no! for that trick. Too bad! Now you're all mine! Ah! 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 Huh?
Yeah! 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 Gah! Yeah! 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 Gah! Yeah! Gah! Yeah! Yeah! This is it. I'll finish it. Special Beans After losing his life in a brutal battle against his brother Raditz, Goku finds himself in the other world. Taking King Yemma's advice, Goku travels the long, long road of Snake Way in search of the ruler of the other world, King Kai. There, that's it. That's the planet King Yemma was talking about. After the appropriate introduction, Goku found himself training on King Kai's planet. Six months later, the Saiyans finally arrive on Earth and begin their dreaded attack. <laughs> I can't wait to see Kakarot's face when he sees that his son has been smashed into tiny pieces! Nimbus Cloud? What? Goku! Goku's Quiet Fury. Piccolo. Again? Uh, uh, Yamcha! <laughs> hey, Funk! That's not all! I got that other little friend of yours as well! <laughs> you didn't. Chaozu? No! That's it!
<laughs> Kakarot, do you have any idea how lucky you are that a super elite warrior like myself has decided to let you have a fighting chance? <laughs> hey, thanks. But I don't expect a fair fight. It doesn't seem like your style. <laughs> There! I've let you speak your mind, now let's begin, shall we? Indeed, Kakarot. Now you're going to see me transform! <laughs> Nothing can save you now! What in the world is this? What's this, huh? Another trick? <laughs> Enormous energy. He sure is big. This will be tough for sure. But I'm ready for him. I'll just have to give him everything I've got. You big ape! While Goku prepared to use the spirit bomb technique he learned from King Kai, the giant ape Vegeta countered with an attack of his own. <laughs> and now, I'll crush you. It's been nice knowing you. Power level. Where? You let go of my <laughs> dad! <laughs> so it's Kakarot's son. Oh, how nice. Did you come to say goodbye to your father, Sonny? Uh, just cut no death! <laughs> well, take a good look. Cause it'll be the last one you'll ever get! <laughs> Nice try! Your pathetic little friends won't catch me off guard, Kakarot! I'm too smart for their tricks! Go! No! No! I don't believe it! Show Gohan's true power! Starting to make me very angry! 
You want to play with me? Then let's play, boy! Are you ready? on Vegeta and brings him down hard. But with the little energy he has left, Vegeta summons his spaceship hoping to make a hasty retreat. His plan? Escape Earth and live to fight another day. I'll be back. And next time, I'll destroy them all. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'll stop you. Let me go. It's over, you fool! It's not over yet! No! Wait! Krillin, stop! Please, let Vegeta go. Look, I know this probably sounds crazy, but I want to challenge him again one day. I have to do it to prove it to myself that I can beat him. So please, just let him go. Please! Consider yourself lucky this time. And I will be back to destroy you and all of your friends! <laughs> Goku, you two meet again. Promise me you won't hold back. You've got to use all your power so that we can be done with him once and for all. Don't, Don't worry. worry. I, I will, Krillin. Hey everyone, Goku here! We've heard that there's another set of Dragon Balls on a planet called Namek. We're going to try to use them to wish our dead friends back to life. Bulma and the others have gone on ahead to search. All of you, stay out of my way! <laughs> Those Dragon Balls are as good as mine. I will be immortal! Next on Dragon Ball Z, let's go to Namek. See you there! Heated battle, the beaten Saiyan Prince Vegeta escaped, and Goku was left badly injured. Meanwhile, the Z Fighters went to Kami's home planet, Namek, to find the Dragon Balls and wish back their fallen friends. But even though they landed safely, trouble wasn't too far behind. Something terrible was about to rain down from the Namekian sky. That's a Saiyan spaceship! But I don't know what to do! Bulma quickly relayed a message to Master Roshi on Earth that Saiyan trouble was beginning to brew. 
While Goku now. received the healing power of a Sensu Beam, Master Roshi informed him of the bad news from Namek. The Sensu Beam didn't take long, and Goku was at full power once again. Fearing the worst, Goku flew to Dr. Brief's laboratory to board the eccentric scientist spaceship. All aboard! First stop, Namek. Let's go to Namek! Well, I'd better start my training if I hope to stand a chance against Vegeta. He's not going to be easy on me, so I've got to be twice as hard on myself. I didn't expect to face him again so soon, but this time, I will be ready for him. I think it'll be easy. Yeah! 
to Planet Namek to secure the Dragon Balls. Gohan and Krillin had Namekian business of their own. They visited the creator of the Dragon Balls, who the Great Sage revealed their hidden powers. But unfortunately, this Namekian soiree up. was to have some uninvited guests. Frieza and his bodyguards, known as the Ginyu Force, had also landed, and they weren't leaving without the Dragon Balls. Alongside Vegeta, Krillin and Gohan put up a valiant effort, but they were no match for the imposing power of the Ginyu Force. Uh. 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 We can't let them win! Uh. Uh. Landing operations complete. Welcome to Planet Planet. Gohan, Krillin, I know things aren't good. Hold tight, I'm coming. I can only hope my training will be enough. Goku's arrival. You did very well, I'm proud. You fought hard. And now it's my turn. Fool! You think you can take on the Ginyu Force all by yourself? Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. You think you're ready for me? Ho 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 ho! Ready for you? Oh, you cracked me up. But enough of the comedy routine. Let's finish this. Attack! Ho! Amazing! That was just... We couldn't even budge him! 
But Goku just up and annihilated the guy! No! Not him! His power is incredible! Could he be the one? Once every thousand years a Super Saiyan is born. But, but it's not fair! It should be me! I am the Prince of all Saiyans! No! So, you've somehow managed to make it through my elite team. But now you face Captain Genyu. I am undefeated. Get ready to die. Vegeta, you take the one on the left, all right? I know that you've regained your strength since you lost your power earlier. And for our sake, I hope that will be enough. How did you know that? Set! No thanks, I've got pressing business elsewhere! Your Dragon Balls are mine! Vegeta! Ah! know that you can't beat me, can you? Hear me? And I'm tired of this senseless fighting. So why don't you just give up? But wait a minute. Super Saiyans are supposed to be the most powerful fighters in the universe. That's right. So maybe you're not quite a Super Saiyan just yet. But I gotta admit you're a whole lot stronger than I am, and you must know the old saying. <laughs> if you can't beat them, join them! What are you doing? Hey, now! <laughs> Not bad at all. Kinda cozy in here. I've... I found you! So you're still alive, are you? <laughs> I should have smashed up my body more. What? And spoil all the fun? Vegeta! Go ahead and finish this, Ginyu. I'll take care of the winner. This won't take long. Remember your next, Vegeta! Ah! Now! It's my only chance! 
Felt better. <laughs> While Goku spent some quality time in the rejuvenation chamber, Gohan and Krill use the Dragon Balls to summon the dragon and wish Piccolo back to life. I'm home. Yes, but how? Oh. But Frieza had his own wish to grant on this particular birthday. Got you! It's amazing! I'm much stronger. I had no idea my power would increase this much. Huh. Don't worry. I'm coming, guys. Goku's Revival. For more, have you? Some people just never learn, do they? This ends here, Frieza! In the name of all the Saiyans you killed! And for all the people of Namek! Your time has finally come! I'm going to finish you! If I don't stop Frieza, he'll ravage the entire universe. One shot left, the spirit bomb. I, I have to borrow the spirit of the planet Namek and all its creatures. Please, give me your strength! You really are a bothersome little pest. And I've had enough! I'll turn you! Have this planet into dust! It's time! What? No! Stop! Me! No!
it, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, Goku! <laughs> Legendary Super Saiyan. Enough! I can't allow you to do this anymore! And now, Frieza, you are going to pay! Gohan, get Piccolo and take him somewhere safe. Go on, son. I'll take care of this monster once and for all. Now get going! I see now. I understand, Dad. You turn into a... a Super Saiyan. He's taken innocent lives again and again. And my best friend, Drillin... It's over! Freeze! Recognize me? I am the hope of the universe, the sworn protector of the planet Earth. I am the answer to all beings everywhere in pain who cry out for help. I am called Goku, and I am a Super Saiyan! Curse you and God be! Uh, I. Will not stand for this humiliation! But if that's how you want to play, prepare to meet your doom, Saiyan! A quiet but fierce battle. What you did to Krillin. I'll never forgive you. I will avenge him! Let's get on with it. Drop dead. <laughs> Huh! <laughs> 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 
my energy. So now you're on your own. Uh, no. You cannot defeat me. I can't be beaten. I am the strongest in the universe. I will finish you with my own hands. Once and for all. to escape from Namek somehow, but when we got back to Earth, there was this guy from the future waiting for us. Three years from now, the Earth is going to be threatened by a pair of androids. You have to stop them. <laughs> Nothing will stop me from fulfilling my desires! I am perfect! Next time on Dragon Ball Z, a new threat. Huh? I'm going to die from a heart virus? One year has passed. We'll show those rotten Saiyans who's boss. Have you figured it out yet? Goku's not the only Saiyan. You're looking at one right now. A mysterious boy who claims to know Goku's future has appeared and revealed an unexpected turn of events. Three years from now, you'll discover an android created by a scientist named Dr. Giraud. And, in one year, you, Goku, will die from a heart virus. But I can help you. As hard as it is to believe, this young boy named Trunks is the son of Bulma and Vegeta, and he has traveled back in time no! from the future. Before returning back to his own time, Trunks gave Goku some very potent heart medicine. It has now been three years since that day. A new threat.
Goku. You know you don't stand a chance against us. We've been watching you. We've seen all of your battles with our spy robots. Oh, really? Did you make sure to watch all of my battles on planet Namek? There was no need. We learned all we needed to learn from your scuffles with Vegeta. You revealed all of your powers and techniques. Maybe, but you've overlooked a very important detail. I'm stronger than you think. Looks like you've managed to power up quite a bit, haven't you? But, I can beat you at this level. And I know that 19 can take you with his eyes closed. All right. Why don't you both get over here, and we'll see how strong you really are. It's me! So stay out of my way, you robotic punk! Vegeta had finally transformed into a Super Saiyan! But unfortunately, he wasn't strong enough to beat the newly awakened android. Oh, oh. <laughs> Be patient. 17 and 18 are just around the corner. We need a more powerful warrior for this fight. We must become one. seem to think quite highly of yourself, knowing exactly who I am. It's a pity, but you can be so powerful, it's so stupid. A wicked omen. I was wrong about you. You're much more powerful than the Piccolo I know of. Happy to disappoint you. Ah! Yeah! Huh. 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 
Effectively! Just who do you think you are? <laughs> you can call me Cell. I'm an android from the future, and I've been constructed from the cells of the strongest fighters on this planet. But why? Why did you come here from the future? To absorb the energy of Android 17 and 18. To absorb the energy from all of humanity. And to finally reach my perfect state. Nothing is going to get between me and the perfection I've come here to achieve. Certainly not you. <laughs> so let's go! While on the run from Piccolo, Cell's power increases with each person he absorbs. Goku, you're up! Are you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better. But I can't win with my power level so low. I'm taking Gohan to train with me. Bye, GT. The next day, there is a knock at the door. Hello. Is Goku at home? Sneaky Cell. You're dead if you don't start talking. Got it? <laughs> Your idle threats won't work on me. Someone as strong as you isn't an android. But, unlike you, my power never decreases. I'm just getting started. Huh. Huh. No! Cell! <laughs> At last, a 
Jessica you waited so long for, is he? No one can stop me! I will absorb Android 17 and 18 and reach my final perfect form! energy from Vegeta and Trunks. Good, so they must still be alive. But I can also feel cells. Goku and Gohan have finished their training in the hyperbolic time chamber. But upon their emergence, they hear the news that Cell has achieved his perfect form. In ten days, I am going to hold a martial arts tournament. I hope I'll be treated to worthy adversary. So, Mr. Self-Confident, did you discover something of value in the hyperbolic time chamber? <laughs> it sure did! Yeah! You're a world champion! Hercule will crush that sail like he's one of those peeled grapes! Yeah! <laughs> Look at him. Could he be a bigger idiot? After ten days of anticipation, the fateful day finally arrived. I look forward to this, Goku. I hope you're ready. Cell's game begins. Right. Let's get started. Goku is the first to go down. Well, that's really too bad. I was hoping I could save the best for last. Let's go. Yeah! 
fighting quite well, but both of our powers are decreasing. You should eat some sensu beans that way. The match can continue to be a great one. I'm finished. I'm done fighting. I can see the depths of your power, and Cell, I give this bout to you. This next round will probably be the last one of the tournament. If you win it, Cell, there's no one left on this planet who can beat you. Gohan, you're up next! Come on! What? Don't be foolish. If you couldn't defeat Cell, what makes you think Gohan can do it? Piccolo, Gohan possesses incredible powers, the likes of which we've never seen before. It was revealed to me for the first time in the hyperbolic time chamber. Now, Gohan, this is your chance to bring peace back to the world. Got it, Dad. I'll do my best. A warrior beyond Goku. You're a conceited child, full of nothing but fantasy. You might be lucky, however, because you'll probably be dead well before you discover fear. this. This senseless fighting is useless. I don't... I don't want to fight anymore. I hate killing as much as I hate you. I'm starting to understand why Dad said that only I could defeat you. Ever since I was a child, I've had trouble controlling my temper. Whenever I get angry, I get in fights and I have no control over my powers, and I never stop until the other person is incapable of fighting back. That's why. That's why Dad wanted me to fight you. That is a very nice monologue. But you don't expect me to be scared, after all. You are only a child. And just maybe, your little speech has inspired me to anger you. While trying to infuriate Gohan, Cell delivers a devastating blow to Android 16, and the Cell Juniors join in the fight, too. Stop! Stop it! Stop the fighting! Go Gohan! Huh? Was that you? There is nothing wrong with fighting to bring about peace. 
free. Breathe your spirit as your anger rises. I... I know how you feel, but you can't hold back any longer. Give your big mouth a rest, you factory recall. <laughs> Gohan explodes. I can't hold it back. You guys are dead. quite confident for a toddler. Do you actually think you stand a chance against me? No question about it. Come on, come on, come on! 
This, this can't be. This is ridiculous. You're a child! I won't be beaten by a kid! He'd rather be here taking care of you himself. I doubt you know what you're up against this round, little man. Now I'll play for real. Come on.
I, I promise you this isn't over. Son. Suspense if you wish. Very soon you will all be dead. Along with your entire planet. <laughs> What's wrong, little warrior? Has your incredible power died? I'm finished. There's no use in fighting back anymore. Come on, Gohan. Oh, Don't, Don't give, give up. up. Use the pain of loss. Uh, Dad? Dad, is that you? I... I can't see you. Are you there? I'm not with you, son. I'm someplace else. But I want you to attack him with the Kamehameha wave. That's the only thing I can think of that will lay him out for sure. But... But, Dad, I, I only have a use of one of my arms, and my energy level is less than half. No. You can do it, son. Just have to let go. Uh, I'll try it. Look inside yourself. It's there you'll find the power you need. Yes. Yes! everyone, it's Goku here. King Kai is letting me talk to you from Otherworld right now, so I really don't have that long. I remember, Bulma told me something a long time ago, about how it seemed like I always attract the bad guys. And when you stop and think about it, in a way that's true. I think the world might just be safer without me. So, I know it might be hard on Chi Chi and Gohan, but don't bother wishing me back to life. Don't worry, we'll meet again one day. I'll be waiting for you. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>